Let's chat about dieting. Hey, what's up, amigos? It's Rupert. So, dieting. You know, I really don't like that word because when you when you change the way you eat, you're basically committing to a lifestyle change. I think we as humans, we naturally want to put a finish line to things. You know, and, and I think when, when we say and we use the word dieting, we don't see that as long term because dieting is generally, this is what I'm going to do for X amount of time to get X amount of results. So we naturally are putting a finish line when we're using the word dieting. Eating right is 75% of the battle to lose weight. The remaining 25% is going to be your exercise. What did I do differently that helped me stay true to my lifestyle change with what I was eating? Well, aside from I cut back the processed foods, I cut out the sugars, the most important thing I tell people is never deny yourself anything. What does it mean to never deny yourself anything? Well, if you want it, you eat it. During this whole process, if I wanted a piece of chocolate cake, I ate a piece of fucking chocolate cake because I knew if I denied myself that chocolate cake, eventually it was going to be so hard for me to say, God, I feel like I'm giving everything up. I can't even have a piece of a fucking chocolate cake. So what am I going to do? I go and eat a chocolate cake. I eat a chocolate cake. I eat more chocolate cake. I start drinking sodas and I'm right back to square one because I was de denying myself the simplest thing as eating a piece of chocolate cake. And again, this comes back to the human spirit. I think if we're told we cannot do something, whether it's something good or bad, like eating bad food, if we're told we cannot do something, we naturally want to go out and do it. So if you're telling yourself, man, I can't eat that chocolate cake, man, I can't have a drink of that soda, man, I can't eat that fried food, man, I can't go to McDonald's, if you continue to tell yourself you can't do something, you will turn around and do the complete opposite. Because it is inside of us to try to fight those urges of people and even ourselves telling us, no, you can't do this. Because our spirit, the human spirit, wants to do what it wants to do. And there's nothing that can hold you back. And that is why you've got to channel in that same spirit that wants to do and defy and beat and do anything that people say you cannot do. That's why you've got to channel into that inner spirit and conquer your eating goals. Conquer your weight loss goals. Conquer lifting the heavy weights you could never lift before. You've just got to go out and do the things, the good things, that you've always told yourself you could not do. That is what was different for me this time around, is that I did not deny myself anything, but I have also used that inner, inner spirit to do the things that I knew I couldn't do on the good, on the good spectrum of things. Commit yourself to a lifestyle change of eating differently. Don't call it a diet. If people say, so what are you doing? What's, what, what diet are you doing? You don't do a diet. Say, I've just changed the way I eat. People will respect that. People will understand it. And people won't think that it's something you're going to quit in a few months from now. Use that inner strength, that inner human spirit to go out and conquer what you couldn't conquer before. Do it. Don't deny yourself anything. If you want a piece of chocolate fucking cake, you eat a piece of chocolate fucking cake. All right? Remember to keep positive. Stay focused. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Share it with anybody you might know that's trying to start their weight loss journey. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, we'll see you next time.